I just missing something? Howdy fellas, I'm the Militant Horse and welcome today to The Room. Alright, so uh, kind of a sad story as to why I'm doing this game. Uh, I originally had a game which I found, it was a demo for this game uh, called Hotel Remorse. No, no not Hotel. Hotel Mem- It was Hotel something. And... I was gonna play that, and, well, turns out that was kind of a, no, it, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. I extracted it, and, uh, just couldn't find the, uh, exe file, so we're doing the room instead. And, said it was made in Game Maker, so, should be good? Alright, we gonna, ah, we're in the game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, this is what it looks like. All right, horrifying aspect ratio. But anyway, so the description for this game was 1965 year. The action takes place in the Hotel Edward. Protagonist named Lewis, the unusual guest of the hotel, settled in a room 1613. Notorious number 1613, 12 suicides. Employees of the hotel always avoided the number and breezed rumors that dwelled there something terrible. Protagonist does not believe tales, legends, etc. But as soon as he comes into the room, is no turning back. So minus that kind of atrocious grammar, I'd say we give this a shot. My mouse is on screen. I can't hide that. Okay, that's my footsteps. I was like, what the heck? Nope. Nope. At least I got sprint. That's nice. Really nice. Nope. So this is just a hall. Something tells me I shouldn't even try these rooms. Which one? Of, which one's my room? I don't like this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right. Cut on. Cut on. Cut on. Cut. What's this? Nope. Wrong room. Okay. Go it. Oh, I found my room. Ooh. Twelve suicides, you say. I don't see why. It's a pretty nice looking room. Ow. It's really loud, and I got no way to adjust it. Let me see if I can, like, just, just adjust the volume. There we go. Might help a little bit. There we go. Can't open my wardrobes. Pixelized painting. It's pretty nice. Okay, so we're just gonna pass through here. Hello. Uh music came back in full force. Nope. What's going on? Nope. Okay, I'm out in the hall. Whoa, wait, what? Whoa. Everything just positioned itself differently. Okay. Okay. I'm down with this. The whole hotel has just completely changed on me. And I'm getting disoriented. Where am I? I guess I'll go back inside. Okay. Nothing's it. What the fuck? Okay, so we're looping back again. <laughs> uh. Oh. Let's take a right. Screw that, I'm taking a left. The music's not awful. Hey, I found another room. 1613. Oh. Nope. Whoa. The hallway got wider. go this way. Whoa, what the fuck? 
Holy shit. Did y'all see that? Holy shit. Ooh, I got goosebumps, guys. You know, I, I guess I am kind of a sucker for these type of horror games, the pixelated ones that they look kind of crappy. Because they, ha they can secretly have some of the biggest scares, you know, because I've actually got a really bad feeling right now. Like, this is not going to end well for me. Because, uh, like, usually these games, I guess they, like, supplement, or, like, they supplement superior graphics for uh, more lackluster styles. And the fact that this was made in Game Maker, just, like, I don't know. Game Maker gets a pretty bad rep for a lot of things, mainly because, like, a lot of people often associate it with really shitty .exe games. You know what I'm talking about. The Sonic, the Sonic .exe, like, one, like, episode, like, I don't know, the episodic trilogies, Sonic.exe. Okay, so I gotta go find out where to go. To keep going. Already been in here. I got a key, but where does that key lead us to? Guess I'll go this way. And now this way. I'm running because it like saves a lot of time. Because I could be walking, you know. And, and I don't know if anybody else notices, but, uh, what is the carpet? Like, the carpet. It's pretty cheesy to use. The carpet, that's like the same carpet they used in The Shining, you know, like, Overlook Hotel's carpet. I have a feeling I'm getting near the end.
if y'all could see me right now, I'd be putting up my middle finger. You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm putting it up right now. Holy shit. Oh, fucking hell. Back again. the checkout desk so I can kindly excuse myself the fuck out of this place. I don't want to be a guest here anymore. Why am I just... It's 1965 and I'm staying in this creepy ass hotel for no other reason than I need a place to stay. What the fuck is going on? What is this story? What is happening? I'm confused. Scared, but confused. Maybe I'll just keep going this way. I'll go this way. Another house, another room, yes! Oh no. This is gonna be a lot longer than I thought. Holy crap, I'm still shaking. Like, holy shit, that was... Okay, that got me pretty good. I'm gonna give it that. That was, was pretty damn good. Okay. <laughs> Just, yeah. Superb, superb. Let's just keep going. Let's get out of here. I don't like it. Let's go. Okay. What the fuck? Let's keep 
going. I'm not liking this. No. That's like, what, five times already? That's a new sound. That's a new sound that I don't like. And it's getting louder. Holy shit. Let's go this way. Hey, I found the room. Should I explore? Let's explore some more. Explore just a little bit more. Okay, never mind. No need to explore. Ugh. Just keep it going. I will say, for a game maker game, fire exit. For a game maker game, it's pretty damn good. Oh, meat hooks. That's not a fire exit. Oh, meat hooks. All the meat hooks. Can I just go to bed? That's all I checked in to do. It's, it's silent. Like, dead silence. Oh my gosh, I've got goosebumps. Holy shit. I'm scared. Oh shit. I can't go in. I can't go in. Guys, I can't. Oh shit. Ah, it still continues. Now I'm in the gates of hell. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't want to be in hell. Why did it have to be today? It couldn't have been like next week or I don't know, in a month. I don't want to be in it today. This doesn't have to anything to do with suicides. Hell no. This is the gates of hell. I'm gonna say something. Never lower your expectations. Game Maker may seem like it's something that you just use on a whim, but holy shit, is this good. Oh my, good lad. All right, let's get out of here. Maybe this is the end. Fire exit, yes. <laughs> All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, do a little voiceover to, like, uh, kind of give y'all a little review on that. Holy shit. Um, okay, so if y'all, y'all, I, y'all may see it in the video, but, uh, it crashed, it, like, it ended the game and it took me to my desktop, but, uh, so yeah, you just get me talking right here, so, uh, holy shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was actually, like, a really good game. Like, holy shit. I did not expect it to actually be like that. That was quite impressive. For a, uh, Game Maker game, holy crap. I'm gonna definitely link this, so, uh, y'all can definitely watch- y'all can definitely play this game for yourselves. Holy crap. It's a completely- it's- it's- that's- to the maker of this game. I may, I may have made fun of it for the grammar that you use in the description, but holy crap, you did well. And I mean, it's a lot of jump scares, but holy crap, that was, that was intense. Like, I mean, I didn't expect it. So, I mean, I guess I kind of should have, but it's still, that was, that was a good game. So, yeah, if you guys liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you really think you have to. I'm the Molten Horse, and I've got a check-in for hell at 7. I'll see y'all later. Standing on my doorstep, waiting for a package, hoping for that blissful moment when.